having there's a big Muslim community in Bexham. Well, because when I was in Bexham, they was said there's a big Muslim community here. <laughs> That's how. Um, I got sent there to hospital, didn't I? Do you remember? <sighs> Tell us the story. To a signet hospital. Fucking hell, I was so annoyed. I was in a shower at fucking hell's then after running off to the land and telling them I'd been over to Ireland on my mate's jet, which might be true. Um, except you were watching me and knows, knows it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> With your spy drones. Um, I got shoved in that fucking bus and taken. Where are you? Where are you taking me? It's really nice. It's in the country. Lie. Can you can smoke there? Lie. It was the middle of London in Beckton. Why oh, can't you just tell me where you where you're taking me? Uh, we were dumb people. About five security in the bus. Jesus Christ! And they just sat on their phones. Who's supposed to watch me on it? Just looking at your phone. It's very fucking professional. Jesus Christ, said judgy, 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 judgy. Watching the magpies follow me all the way down. That was interesting because they did. Do you know what? I jump around again. Somebody, who was saying about that? It may have been my son's girlfriend about, because she raised two, uh, what did she raise? Two, what Jackdaws, I think. Because she goes, well, she's involved in, um, or she has been, in shooting with the shooting community. Um, and they get taken out as land management. She's not doing it at the moment, but she, she's grown up in that. That's the community she's grown up in. Um, and ends up with these two jackdaws, which was so cool. But I think, what did she say? I'm sure it was that, but she said she'd gone somewhere and they just find you. They fly with you over distance. Um, so then, because I've said about these magpies, watch these magpies follow me that I was feeding in Helston all the way down to Beckton. And then they'd, they were in the garden there. And it's like, well, do, are they the same ones? Is it just, but I'd watched them all the way, like flying along beside the bus. Um, but she, I'm sure it was her who'd said about these, had come from somewhere. Or somebody, or she was recalling the story of it had happened to someone else. Which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so they said there's a big Muslim community in Bethlehem. I don't know much about it. It is Islam, isn't it? But, um, and Mecca. Mecca being gay. <laughs> that's true. But I know it's a thing. And um, that's why I met Tree of Jewels lady. I can't remember her name. I just remember she's called Tree of Jewels. And she kept going about hanging out Abdullah by the bulls for stealing all her money. So she creased me up. She was hilarious. And um, so it was just another insight into... She was Arabic. Um, I think. But she kept saying, yeah, you, you've got to, you're going to have to come. We're going to go and have a rave in the desert. You're going to, and we're going to send you a horse and uh, help me translate a letter but then changed half the words it's like you can't call him a baby you need to call him a man it's like do you know what this isn't helpful <laughs> fuck knows what else you told me to say and i copied it out in arabic and sent it i've got no reply as usual <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> that's the problem of not understanding the language well do you know what i don't care it's more fun this way. It's more fun for me. How would you have translated Arabic letter? Well, if you can't read Arabic, you'd probably just get give it to someone who reads Arabic and then trust that they're going to tell you the truth. Or go through an Arabic alphabet chart and work out what letters look most the same. Christ's sake. I'm sure coding people can do this, can't they? You want a unique gift from a unique girlfriend? There you go. Send you a letter in Arabic. Telling me about political prisoners of war and God knows what else. Um, that's different. Well,
it was an experience anyway. They love you in where do I say? They want me to go over there to the Emirates. <laughs> Come with us, we'll look after you. We'll send you a horse. I don't need a horse, I've got nowhere to keep it. I'll have a dog instead. Oh actually I've got the dog, didn't I? Damn it. Just give me a spooky. I've got it. They sent me one. <sighs> you need a prince. It's true. That was true of Joseph, but I need a prince. I'll wait for my prince then. Not a baby. You don't need a man baby, you need a prince. An Arabic prince. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways of manifesting this virtue of jewels. <laughs> Hang up really by the balls for stealing all the money. That's all she screamed about. That's probably what she's a mental hospital. Um, that's it really. And I bought that blue, I bought that dress, didn't I? That one, that, um, blue and from the corner shop. The trout, what they call those suits? The trouser and tunic suits. That was supposed to be my wedding gown. But, um, in the end, I, it was going to be my husband's wedding gown. In the end, I just put it in the chariot shop. Um, I wish I still kept it actually. That's it. I've got to get dressed. I'm drinking, guess what? Cherry blast alert. What am I going to do today? I don't know. What does read about? Having a nuclear attack will be the end for Russia. Do you know it'll be the fucking end for everyone if anyone fucking starts pinging? Megatron fucking nuclear warheads. They're fucking off my card list anyway. I don't give a fuck. Seriously. They'll be right off my fucking Christmas card list. Not that anyone fucking gives a shit about that. But I'm telling you now they will be. I reckon it'll fail anyway. I can see it happening. That's what happened with the sub the other day. The spirits got in the, in situ. I can see it just backwashing back on the on the fucking site that it's come from. A blowback. I reckon I can see that happening. Just as a just as a fucking karmic thing. If you start spinning them things off, I, I imagine it's just gonna do flip over in the sky and come back and land on you. I could see it happening. I'm in fact I'd quite like them to set one off now just to see if I'm right. Everyone keeps going on about karma. Forwardness and backwardness again. <sighs> Empty pockets, boys. Come on, let's see what you've got. Oh, I see. This is 
how you play, is it? <laughs> right. What are we going to do today? I'm going to go play with some small people. Um, I probably ought to walk the dog around the Blick first. Around Blickling. Around Blickling Square. Around the block. Um, that's that. God, that's the other thing that's annoying me about language, children's language skills going down in lockdown because they're not with other why don't you why don't you uh... oh. you do something about it why don't you get a fucking language course on the fucking internet Christ's sake Little peanuts language skills have improved in the in the few weeks that I've been talking to her. And I'm an idiot. I know. Half of revolution. Why don't you we do that? How would I structure children's television? I don't know. Things like Blue Peter, which was done in blocks of, short blocks of learning, wasn't it? Which appeals to like a sort of memory, like attention span thing. And it's kind of adult, it's talking to children as adults. Well, do you know what I mean? Um, what did I watch as kids? Well, we were BBC family, I know. Um, we did watch cartoons. I mean, Tom and Jerry and things like that. So olden cartoons would be on... But only at set times, weren't they? And then I remember things like Masters of the Universe. I think, what the fuck is this? I mean, as a child, I didn't really understand it. It's like, there's too much going on here. It's like, I don't know what this is. It's not... <laughs> what do you mean? That's awful. Well, it isn't, it isn't. But at the same time, what is going on in it? Um... I remember Pingu because I love Pingu. My grandparents, I think, introduced us to Pingu. And um, I remember sort of my mum saying, well, they're not saying anything. It's like, how's this supposed to be helpful? And it's like, do you know what? But that's the point. They're not using language, are they? But you still know what's going on. Do you, know, do you not understand this? And they say like as a multicultural thing, it's, there's no language barriers there. It's like you can you can understand what's going on. Sort of like mime, I suppose. Um, but that's the
a pingy. <laughs> do 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 pingy pingy me me. I don't know. How would I structure kids' TV? Probably like Blue Peter and Play School. To talk to them like adults. What's that called? It's the French. It's not French. It's old and BBC ways. But people find it boring. Well, if they've not had anything else to to compare it to, they wouldn't find it boring, would they? Like, well, this is what there is. It's this or nothing. How boring is it now? <laughs> It's this or time your bedrooms. <laughs> Why do you have to do that anyway? I don't want to. I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to go and live at my friend's house. Here's your case. Goodbye. Do they have a BBC guide? <laughs> See you later then. See you next Tuesday. When you've learnt how to watch high TV properly. You can't say that. Well... We did watch ITV sometimes. When it was the news. News at 10's on. You just watch news at 10 to 10 on BBC. <laughs> 9 o'clock news on BBC. 10 o'clock news on ITV. Uh, that was my grandparents. My other grandparents watched ITV. Just for balance. It's not that simple. I know. But they didn't watch cartoons. Only Benny Hill. <laughs> was it Granada? It wasn't ITV, was it? It was Granada. And uh, Anglia. Christ sake, they say. Regional. Regional TV. Did they ever watch Dallas? Mm, not, I've seen Dallas, yeah, and I knew it was going on, but that wasn't really, my other, like, family watched Dallas. But, um, I've told you, my mother wouldn't even buy sliced loaves. She thought it was common. <laughs> Just that it was a health thing. <laughs> There's no goodness in that white sliced stuff. There's nothing in it. It's like eating wallpaper paste. Eat this. I don't want to. I want the soft bread. Well, you're not having any. I'm, please, can I be like the other children? No. You will be thank me later on. I won't. I promise. I swear I'll never thank you. Ever. You can't make me. I suppose things like Blue Peter, I suppose, going back to that, there'd always be like a making bit on it, wouldn't there? Which would then leave you with the idea of going off to do something else. And then News Round, which I hated as a kid. Oh God, it's News Round. News Round's on now. Ugh. When are the cartoons on? But... I still think it's quite, it was quite good structured viewing, wasn't it? Talking to children like adults. Saturdays was dumbass TV, wasn't it? Because it was like swap shop, that was time for like, but that learns, learns you about structure as well, I suppose, isn't it? This is the working week, and this is like, this is, this is wind down day. Tis was. What the hell's going on here? ITV, mate. <laughs> Spit the dog.
I was talking to some girl in the park, woman. I don't know where she was from, I've forgotten. Um, they'd resettled anyway. Uh, it was one of those sort of... Is it Baltic, is it called? I forgot on the words. Um, places. And this small child who... A boy. Who was uh, then playing with, like, you know, the little people I was with. So they were interacting quite nicely. So we were just talking as mothers do. Well, I know I was a grandmother, but... <sighs> Women, people, humans... And he'd been into, he started at one school and then for whatever reason weren't happy. So he was then now in another school as a, you know, so that was firstly a window into this other school for me, but I've had other things since for the same, same, similar angle, but talking about different parenting skills and she was saying to me well how, how god i was so patient with these children that you know she commented on my patience with them and i said well you know partly it is because i am i'm only their grandma i don't see them very often i wasn't the same with my own children um I, it's not like i've got to be with them all the time it, you do get tired and you do get frustrated so do you know what i was giving advice and support in that way, in a matriarchal sense. But talking, and she, but she was talking about the problem of um, the child's father had a different attitude towards parenting, um, which is a cultural thing. But within, I the same with my children's father, it's a similar sort of thing. It's a totalitarian, maybe not the wrong way, but. You you know you try and guide behaviour in a, a certain way. Authoritative, is that the right word? What do you use? That what word do you use? And she had a different way of wanting a softer approach to it. But um, you could see. Well, you can, can't you? You can tell. To a point. I've said this before, it is because you want children to behave that you do a certain, you act in a certain way. But if you've only got that skill set of understanding this is how you do it, that's how you do it. This is what I say about writing letters. If children don't want to write, we'll just write a letter to, say, Nanny in the other country. It doesn't matter what you put in it. They don't want to write. They don't want to write. But he's got some learning difficulty. They, he, she, they've got no. They just not no interest in writing. Do something. Just write. Write it as a newspaper. Pretend you're writing a newspaper, or something interesting about your day. Doesn't do you know? Your nanny would love to hear what's going on. Doesn't matter if mine don't write to me. I can still give this advice to other people. You do, you just do you. You do you, mate. I can have positive effects on society from where I see. They say, what they say? If you want to change the world, start at home. So I will. Do what you can with what you've got. It's a whole thing of rescue, isn't it? If you can't... Uh, what is it? If you can't adopt, promote. If you can't promote or raise funds or whatever, you can always do something. And if you can't do that, just spread the word. Spread the word. You can always do something. <laughs> Mm. 
stop calling people dumb slags. Well, stop being dumb slags, man. Give my fucking stuff back. That's not bullying, that's just expecting a level of fucking... Basic level of... Manners? Etiquette? I also did notice the other day actually that avocado oil I bought from Marxists and spenders there's no this is a product of this country there's no way of working out where it's come from which means I might stop buying stuff from there um, it just says Marks and Spencer's Island, it's come from Ireland, which means, well, that's one route of uh, port of office, but this is the product of, well, it's probably blended, isn't it? But you've got no way of working out where the stuff's come from. They use different supply places. Well, Marks and Spencer's has changed, hasn't it? Like, have to adapt to time. It's probably true. And people lie. Why do I buy avocado oil? I just want to do it for change. I told you I'd change my, change my oils around. I had that truffle oil the other day and it made me itch. I was just in there and I wanted to get stuff for lunch. So I got avocado oil, pasta, some pesto, some vegan pesto to try and tin of tomatoes. Um, a loaf of bread. And it was one of the cheaper ones because it was a smaller bottle than the olive oil. Uh, basically, that's why. Making stones, isn't it? The making stones? Well, that's a good thing, surely. I try not to use too many avocados, you know that, because of whatever it's called. Okay, run out of time. Erosion and stuff. 